Commonly known as seaweed, macroalgae are fast-growing aquatic organisms found all over the world in almost all marine environments. Algae evolved long before plants and animals, and were among the first organisms to photosynthesize, responsible for the oxygenation of Earth's atmosphere over two billion years ago. The GRASS project, a collaboration between research institutions, universities and public authorities, has been investigating the potential of seaweed cultivation and harvesting in the Baltic Sea. The project is led by Eftalia Arveniti of the Submariner Network for Blue Growth. The GRASS project is an Interreg Baltic Sea Region project, as we call it. So it was funded by Interreg Baltic Sea Region. It is a three years project, finishing by the end of this year. It has 11 partners from 10 countries. And the aim of the project is to kickstart seaweed production and use in our region. There is definitely a big potential in, in cultivating more in the ocean. One of the things we are thinking of is, is cultivating seaweed uh, for taking up nutrients. One of the environmental benefits of, of cultivating seaweed is uh, that you're actually taking some of those inorganic nutrients out from the sea and making products out of that. Plant it's itself as seaweed has a tremendous capacity of growing very fast. It doesn't need a fertilizer, so actually can take fertilizer natural from the sea. In the oceanic ecosystem, uh, we have not realized that the nutrients we have used on the land, they actually end up in the oceans. Just like planting trees, seaweed draws carbon out of the atmosphere, but grows much faster than land-based plants and does not require fresh water, fertilizer or agricultural land to grow. At the same time, it cleans, deacidifies and oxygenates the surrounding water, whilst providing habitat and food for all kinds of marine life. Seaweed has also benefits in terms of using it as a food product. It has a fantastic amount of nutrients that are very healthy for us. So it contains a lot of proteins and vitamins and minerals. So depending on what species you're using, you could actually have a very good addition to your diet. Making it ideal for applications in health foods, animal feed and organic fertilizer. Besides these more traditional applications, it can also be used in medicine, cosmetics or bioplastics. These natural ingredients can replace fossil-based materials and processes. The full potential of seaweed and the products that can be made out of it is yet to be fully realized. This is where startups and SMEs come in, with promising technological advances being made in biorefinery, which extracts high-value compounds and byproducts from raw seaweed or biomass for various applications. In Finland, the award-winning startup Origin BioOcean is developing biorefinery technology to supply a range of biomaterials for multiple products. So we are trying to make ingredients. So ingredients which can be used either in food or cosmetics or detergents. So we are looking at a lot of different type of applications. So currently, as, as you can see, we are in this lab environment and now we are preparing to take the, the next steps forward, preparing for our scale-up activities. And we hope to be able to start the scale-up related work packages maybe a year from now. The project partners have mapped suitable cultivation sites to integrate seaweed farms into marine spatial plans, as well as producing several socio-economic reports on the benefit and risks of the emerging Baltic seaweed industry. These resources can help build the capacities of public authorities and the general public to understand the benefits of seaweed in the Baltic Sea as a tool for environmental and socio-economic resilience, and a key component of the EU's transition to a green, circular economy. Despite considerable progress in recent years, there are still obstacles to seaweed becoming a mainstream industry in Europe. International competition, legislative barriers and increasingly busy marine spaces mean that seaweed is one of many industries, such as offshore energy, shipping, fishing and tourism, all vying for political support. Seaweed has uh, tremendous opportunities uh, for society and uh, certainly uh, public authorities should know about it. It is complicated to get some space at sea to farm. So the public authorities play a key role for licensing new farms, to decide where to place a farm and for how long the, the license will be for. In Europe, seaweed integration into marine policy is still at an early stage. We can use CRASS project results to make scientific-based decisions on how to best plan marine spatial use and how to utilize seaweed. So it's all about collaboration in the future. The main problem we have, we don't have enough spatial data. What are the most potential places? What are the needs, what they need in order to have this sustainable development path? 
many times these uh, potential places can also kind of overlap with other marine sectors. And so maybe we should find some synergies or we can find that we have some conflicts in views and there are conflicts that we have to solve. Algae offers a unique opportunity to Europe and proper strategies may help to turn current environmental challenges like algae blooms or beached seaweed into the business opportunities. And therefore, European Commission works on a cross-sectoral and inclusive and holistic EU algae initiative to turn those challenges into the opportunities to unlock algae potential with particular focus on the Baltic Sea. Seaweed provides a ready-made solution to clean up our oceans and draw carbon out of the atmosphere. The GRASS project has shown that seaweed cultivation in the Baltic is possible, so what are we waiting for? To find out more about the GRASS project or join the Submariner Macroalgae Working Group, visit the GRASS homepage at submariner-network.eu.